In today's video, I bought someone's childhood Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we are back and this is a Collecticon pickup video. So if you guys saw all my other pickups, I did pick up this Yu-Gi-Oh collection from someone's childhood. So before we actually go through it and figure out, did I spend too much, was it a good deal, and what epic old school cards are inside, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Cyber Ogre First Edition, Blackluster Soldier from the starter deck, and a Cyber Harpy Lady. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Did we get a good deal on this collection? I barely had time to go through it. I kind of looked through it a little bit and he kind of had a number and I just went with it. So I didn't really have time to evaluate it. Let's see if I actually got ripped off or if I got a great deal. All right, so the cool stickers on here are just, it just, just screams someone's old collection from back in the day. So this was another vendor at the Collecticon event. He walked up and he's like, yeah, I have my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, I think he said he did Pokemon or I don't remember exactly. I think he said Pokemon. I can't remember. But he's like, yeah, I did bring my old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Do you buy them? So I was like, I can take a look. So he did say he had a Forbidden Memories game that he had opened and sold. And I was like, dang, that would have been so cool because the promos were still sealed. But that would have been awesome. Probably wouldn't have been gradable if they've been in the, the package flying around, but it would have been cool to actually open that up. Let's see what else we have in here. So there are some pretty nice cards. I did go through the foils at one point. Let's go through the commons real quick. We don't normally do this, but I want to see if there's any nice cards in here that maybe have some like one dollar two dollar value something like that so let's just go through some of this old school i mean this is an old school childhood collection so we kind of got to just absorb everything because the childhood collection can have all kinds of stuff these are actually pretty nice condition i mean they do have like a little bit of yellowing to them on the side but overall okay there we we're starting to see some real nostalgic condition there a little bit damaged on the corners played without sleeves stuff like that I'm not seeing anything too, like, crazy. I mean, SDY, I think, is, like, there's probably a full deck in here, I think. That's a lot of SDY. There's an MRL. We have Forest. I'm not seeing, like, First Ed LOB either. I mean, those would be good. And there's the M Warrior with the Misprint, but they're all like that. Dissolve Rock. I'm not guessing that we get anything crazy, but you never know. There could be something good inside. Silver Fang, Tai Hone. We got Oni Tank Rux and 34. We got something good. There it is. Oni Tank Rux and 34. Good stuff. Thunder Dragon. That is sometimes decent. Let's pull that out. Uh, that can be a couple bucks. There has been some reprints of it recently, so I don't know how the MRD Unlimited comments holding up, but it could still be decent. It used to be a $3 card. And we're your number one as well. We have the Flash Assailant. Trial of Nightmare. Not the Trial of Hell Unlimited. That would have been pretty big. Ancient Brain Field of Pain. Got a couple of back. We got Gamble Overdrive. Kind of like, this is kind of what I did buying this collection. It's a little bit of a gamble. Pale Beast Rux in 34. You love that. All right. Let's keep going through these commons before we hit the actual foils. I don't know the condition of the foils either. That's going to be a big thing. Trying to figure out if those condition. There's a new Tory. What's that mean again? Can't remember. Upstart. Used to be a guaranteed $1, not so much anymore. I think it has had a reprint and gotten a little bit less used. Humanoid Warden Drake, that's a short print in Labyrinth of Nightmare, even Unlimited. Very cool. I don't know if it's money in Unlimited, though. First Ed's like a $6 card, so pretty nice. First Edition, that's MRD. Whoa, let's see about that card. Wait a second. First Ed, MRD. If it's not a PSA 10, it's not really worth it, so yeah, probably not, but... Still pretty cool to see that. First edition PSV. We're getting some old school here. Very nice. I'm trying not to get a shadow on these cards, but I'm definitely doing it. Whoops. Then I cover up the first edition, which is not good either. So it's an interesting combo we have. I'm doing my best, guys. Misaki, Deep Sea, Bottom Dweller, Dweller in the Bottom. Time Seal, the Skull Servant. Very nice. Jellyfish, Drill Bug, High Tide. We got Petite Dragon. We got Bite Shoes, D Spell. Flame Champion always was one of my favorites back in the day. Look at Beast. I'm still at Soggy, the Dark Clown. Very cool. That looks to be in better condition right there. Soggy, a little bit better. Not perfect, but better than that. Nostalgia Condition one. Grad Attacker, Bug Roth. Lady De Fe, the Oguchi. Love that one. Fairy Sand Mirror. And let's see if there's any missing foils in here as well, which so far there have not been. Oh, there's a foil down there I missed. There's another foil that I missed down there, and it's actually a good one, so that's good. Uh, there's Darth Maul awaiting orders. We have the Judge Man. There we go, Iraqi. We have Roof Trap, Mr. Volcano, Earthshaker, Killer Needle, Darth Maul again. Oh, another upstart. We'll pull that. That's a first ad. That, that one actually might... Looks like it's like maybe light play, mod play. I'll have to double check, but that one should be okay. Maybe that's a dollar. Dweller in the bottom again. There's Judge Lava Battle Guard. Okay, so far I'm not seeing any crazy cards. I and mean, we've had a couple. There's no, uh, really you want to see Pharaonic Guardian bulk because that's where you get some real value in the bulk. You know, with the, the Book of Moon, the Metamorphosis, the Maiden of the Aqua, uh, the Trap Dust Shoes. I mean, there's just so many good cards in Pharaonic Guardian that you can find in bulk. So if you have Pharaonic Guardian bulk, you want to run through it because that'll actually have some decent cards 
that could be worth like 10 bucks, you know, for first dead, stuff like that, if they're in good condition. Speaking of good cards, first edition Trial of Hell. It's not the Unlimited, so the Unlimited is really, uh, I mean, it's obviously not great condition either. The Unlimited is super rare. This is a first edition version, so it's not, I mean, ironically, it's a little bit probably more common, but it's still rare because it's first dead LOB. So this card probably has a little bit of value as well. I mean, it's not perfect condition, so it's not going to be like insane, but that's definitely a nice one to pull out. Definitely a good one to be, it's like his only his first edition, his only first edition LOB card is what I'm trying to say, and it's one of the best ones. So we will take that. Very nice. We have the chain energy. I mean, that's solid. That's amazing that that was in there. Killer Needle, Peacock, Dweller on the bottom. We've got King of Yummy Makai with that 1530 defense. Very nice. Oh, look, another 1530 defense. All right, last little stack of commons. Will there be any more bangers in there? First at MRL, looks like. Okay, yeah, it's probably not too much. Uh, we got Terror of the Terrible, Leg Hole, Levatory. What's that mean again? Can't remember. Let's pull it out. We have the Steel Scorpion, Jigan Bakanon, Harpy Lady, Turtle Oath, Jam Defender from LON. Interesting. Card looks decent. I'm gonna check that out. We have Driving Snow, Flying Kamakiri, Kurama. Oh, trial of Nightmare. It wasn't a Trial of Hell, unfortunately. Trial of Hell Unlimited is what we're really looking for. Darkness Approaches MRL. Also decent. We've got Spike Bot, Mwer, Minar, and Metal Fish. Okay, that's all the bulk. We did find a few cards. That Trial of Hell is pretty cool. Now let's go through the foils. Here's the one that I didn't realize was in here. Delinquent Duo. That is like a 20 plus dollar card. Basically, no matter what the addition, the condition, it's at least 20. Uh, I did run out of top loaders, so I don't, well, I'm waiting. This will actually be nice to have these. This is MRL, so original print does have that. So this is looking at mod play, but an original match ruler, not spell ruler. Beautiful. I kind of flew through, so I guess I missed that one because it was under the bulk. We have another stack here, a couple stacks of foils. We're going to go through these. I don't want to spoil these, so I'm going to put them so where you can't see the next card. So we have polymerization. If it's unlimited, I'm probably not going to go crazy on the condition. I'm just going to pull them out of here. But yeah, unlimited magic card, poly. There are some first ads. We will be checking the condition of those. We have a second poly. These are interesting sleeves. They're like Pokemon size, but they're not penny sleeves. So that's kind of interesting. We have a first ed penguin soldier. So this is from the starter deck. So it's not that crazy, but we will check it out real quick. Back looks like it's been used. Yeah. Front looked pretty good, actually. Penguin Soldier, very nice. We have a Right Arm of the Forbidden One. This is definitely an original. I mean, all these are originals. There's no, like, reprints or anything in here because they're straight from his childhood, and it definitely checks out with what he told me based on what I've seen. These definitely seem like he got the first few sets, and that was it. E -e yeah, so if the all the conditions are like this, I'm definitely going to be taking an L on the 400 bucks. that's for sure. But we're making a video out of it, so hopefully that'll help. I think some of them looked better than that, though, I'm hoping. Here's the starter deck, uh, Dark Magician. So he did have the full starter deck in there, so here's the Dark Magician from that. Front is pretty clean. Whoa. Did he, like, never use this card? There is a little bit going on on the back, like a little bit, but it's not much. That's actually a really nice card. I'm going to make a separate pile for, like, not horrible condition. That That's going in that. That's actually pretty solid. There will be a, uh, a pretty bad original condition, and then there will be a pretty good condition. I'm hoping that there are a lot more like that. If there are, then I'm going to be pretty happy because there's some good cards in here. Curse of Dragon. I haven't actually bought a collection like this in quite a while. It's pretty low end, but it's like these days, like unlimited originals, you know, they just don't go for too much unless they're in like really good condition. So I don't really buy these that often anymore. It's usually first ad. So I'm does that have a foil shift? This has a foil shift. Look at this. You can see at the top there's a line across where the foil's down, and you could kind of see like a double. It's almost it looks like a double printing because it's like shifted the Curse of Dragon outline. That's beautiful. That's a really cool misprint. All right, that's pretty cool. And then it's in pretty good condition. It does have a little bend up there, but a little misprint Curse of Dragon. LOB foil shifts are not that rare, but when you get them on one where it like shifts the actual artwork, it's pretty nice. Okay, Soul Exchange. Here's more from the deck. Good stuff. Don't really need to evaluate this. It's not a very expensive card, even in first ed. We have the first edition Grave Robber. So we do have a first edition card here. And speaking of misprints, there are a couple of misprints in here. Not like big, big, but there are some pretty nice ones. Grave Robber first edition. Might have a little bend at the top. Yeah, a little. Oh, yeah, the back is not beautiful. That's for sure. So this is not a crazy card. There's also something on the surface there. So there's a little bit random. Some of it looks like he used a lot more than others. And speaking of the misprints, we have a reverse Guy of the Dragon champion. So this is a reverse secret rare. Normally that goes this way. Now it's going this way. So that's pretty cool. This is in good condition. That would be great. Definitely a bend up there in the top left corner. The rest of the card, though, is pretty nice. Honestly, if it didn't have that bend, this would be like near mint almost. 
That's a sweet card. A reverse guy, the dragon champion. So it's something good. Then we got a first ed right here. We got a first ed twin headed thunder dragon from metal Raiders. Also very cool. Pretty nice. Condi oh, never mind. Top left corners messed up. Top right corners messed up. Condition look good. Okay. Yeah. This one is certainly not in great condition. Was he summoning this? Was he actually summoning with two thunder dragons? Cause I only saw one thunder dragon in his collection. Okay. I think he was cheating on the playground. Let's go back. It's like that uh, commercial where they like do the review. They're like, mom, you said you didn't like to watch the NFL with them. They're like, how about we do the challenge flag? That's what we're doing for that. We're going to go back and watch his duels from 20 years ago. Okay, here's a big one. Toon Summit Skull. So if this is in great condition, it would definitely help the cause of our expenses here. Uh, I don't feel too good about it because, you know, a lot of them have been bad. Okay, off, way off center. So we're throwing grading out the window, but there's something right there. Honestly, I mean, it might be a lightly played card. It's really not bad. It's really decent. I mean, compared to some of the other ones we've seen, we cannot complain. Toon Summit Skull... I don't know how expensive it is raw anymore. I'm not going to lie. Then we got a spirit message eye. We don't really need to look at this. I don't know why this is top loaded because there's he doesn't have all of them. He just has that one. Then we've got the Karibo. It's an unlimited. So I don't need to really spend a crazy amount of time on this one either. Let's get it out. I don't know if 400 is going to cut it so far. It looks like we might have spent a little too much, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes when you're buying. Relinquished. Very nice. We have a second Relinquished. These are unlimited, so I'm not going to pull them out. These are from the SDP starter deck. Very cool. We have an exchange. A beautiful card. I do want to check this one out because I don't have a 10 of this. Like, I mean, I highly doubt it's a PSA 10 in this collection, but if there was, it'd be really cool. I have gotten collections like this before and then, okay, there's, yeah, there's a little binder ding and had like PSA 10 condition cards. Like, I think there was a big one. Oh yeah, the, uh, that one time when I graded a uh, Guardian Yatos PSA 10, I think I sold it for like two thousand something dollars because there was hardly any of them it was from a collection like this every card was in terrible condition except the iatos so things can happen sometimes in these kind of collections uh there's the flu summoning dragon this is just a rare i'm gonna deal with the rare later toon mermaid this is unlimited unfortunately did not to go with the summon skull which was first dead lackluster ritual this is first edition but it's you know starter deck yugi evolution there we go syE okay kazi jin let's look at this one this is a pretty nice card kazi jin first edition let's see what it's looking like a uh, little little bend on the corner there and a lot of scuffing on the back so yeah we're looking at mod play at best first edition card though so very cool another big one right here the serpent knight dragon first edition from metal raider secret rare I'm not metal rare magic ruler sorry wrong set if this is nice that would be a big one uh it's not i can see a corner i can already see a corner without even oh no <laughs> i really should have looked at the collection yeah we definitely got scammed by scammed i mean i paid too much that's not really getting scammed but i didn't look at them and this is what happens i almost always look at every card and this is what happens when you don't do it okay unlimited i didn't i just didn't have time during the thing and i was avoiding collections like this but when he said it was his childhood collection i was like that would be a good youtube video so that's that's why i kind of fell for it okay mask of the i don't know why i looked at this it's unlimited I don't think because that was kind of a big one. That was one of the big ones. So I, I'm not feeling too good about the rest of it. Toon World. I mean, we're still gonna do. We're gonna get a decent amount back. It's not like we're gonna like lose our shirt on this or anything. But I was hoping for a little bit better conditions on some of these magical hats. Here's a big one. The Secret Rare BPT Red Eyes Black Dragon. I don't expect good condition from a 10 promo to be honest, and especially it's definitely got played with, I would say. Okay, there's something right there. Yeah, okay, it might be like mod play, which is still an expensive card, so it's not like horrible, horrible, and with these, oftentimes they are horrible, horrible, so not the worst. Okay, we got we got to keep going because we got a lot of cards left, but another Red Eyes, SDJ, that's first dead, so this could be decent if it's in good condition. It's way off center, though. Um, Yeah, so it's got some scuffing on the back. Still pretty good condition, though, overall. I will take that. It's probably worth a little bit, at least. Okay, say Song of the Thunder. All right, I was about say sage song of the thunder that is okay a little little messed up at the top there oh yeah that's heavy play it's got like a, a dent through the middle unfortunately a first edition destiny board this is a good card right here destiny board first edition is it going to be in good condition though that's the question yes it is in good condition oh that'll help that will help on the value right there destiny board let's go buster blader here's one of the biggest cards i highly doubt this was not played with this is such a i mean as a kid this this was such a cool card. If it's in Destiny board condition, then we're in great shape. Like, that will definitely be huge. Buster Blader, let's see. So the front, oh, yeah, yeah. Top edges, I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's kind of hard to see on here, but bent corner there. Edge has two nicks to it. The rest looks okay, actually. Wait, now it's got a, it's got a bend on the bottom too. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's heavy play at best. 
Unfortunate, because that would be a huge card. I don't own this card PSA 10. This is a card that I actually do want in PSA 10. And I kind of forgot that I wanted it and I didn't have it. So, man, maybe I'll get one of those at some point. All right, we have another stack in here. I'm going to pull this out. This is the last part of the collection. I think we're like borderline. Maybe if, we, if this is okay, we could maybe make our money back. We'll see. All right, the best part about this is I needed top loaders because I thought I had a whole nother box and I didn't. So, hopefully, I will be getting uh, those soon. But I now have some top loaders. This is like a slightly faded gear freed, which is pretty cool. Not bad condition right there, actually. For First edition chain destruction. So this could be okay if it's like minty, but otherwise it's probably not gonna, mm, wait, it is kind of minty. It's off center though, but this is probably minty because it's almost unplayable. So as a kid, you're just like, what am I gonna do with this? You know, I guess unless you're like Yugi or something or played against Yugi with, uh, or Yugi played against the, what are they called? Rare hunters, there we go. And he used it. Celtic Guardian, pretty nice actually for an unlimited. The Karibo, that's an unlimited as well. So that's pretty cool. Wazoo the Soul Eater unlimited. We've got a, okay, I'm gonna stop pulling these out if they're unlimited and I'll deal with those later. Okay, Spirit Message in, that's a rare. So, okay, I guess he did have one of the other ones. He's got a Catapult Turtle right there. That's Metal Raiders. I think a lot of these are unlimbs, but there are a couple more first deads. We have Card of Safe Return. Wait, maybe he did have all these. Somehow I missed those. There's the A, probably has the whole thing in here. There's a sewage in that doesn't match with his first ads. Here's what I am gonna pull out. My favorite card, the Millennium Shield. I'm a su I, maybe that's why I'm a sucker for this card. I saw Millennium Shield, I was like, I gotta have this, man. Millennium Shield, definitely got a ding up there. Yeah, this is not a great condition. Most of the time, I used to buy these all the time trying to get a PSA 10, I finally did grade one, but they oftentimes are not in good condition. And they can be faded too, check this out. It's a slightly faded there. Such a cool card, very nostalgic for me. And this is a big one as well, I think it's a PSA 10, which it, probably won't because it's from a childhood collection as we've said many times in this video and it's a very cool card as well so it probably got summoned a few times it's off center so it's not going to psa 10 but that is in great condition actually it doesn't look like he used it much and we got the feather wing we got the uh flute nothing too crazy there the card destruction is pretty decent this is a random card that he has this is from 2008 it kind of like jumps forward a little bit the beastly mirror ritual that's the only thing that's like wait what how, when did you get that one did you come back for like one second uh, Spellbinding Circle Unlimited as well. Okay, so I guess he did have them all. Here's the L. RIP. So uh, he had the whole Destiny board. First edition too, which is cool. Mirror Wall, beautiful. Here's a nice card. We have the Premium Pack 4 Dark Magician Girl. That's pretty sweet. It's in every single one of those, but still it's a Dark, dark Magician Girl, so it's gonna do well. Call the Haunted Unlimited. We've got a First Ed Scapegoat. This is cool, but it's also from a starter deck, so it's not very expensive. And then here's one that I missed when I first got it. Lewis like was looking through. He's like, oh, did you see this? And I was like, no, it's a test print cards this is worth like 20 i think maybe 30 depending on the condition of it and it's also missing the stamp a little bit so this is a pretty cool misprint card or whatever you want to call it error card that's definitely gonna help with the value we got of course got the pair of skull dice and graceful dice those are really nice they don't really look like they're gonna be gradable though but just on the quick look but they're pretty nice there's a dark hole from lob a magic card trap hole from lob that's also nice we have an imperial order is that reverse no it's regular imperial order a third Polymerization. This dude was fusion summoning that twin headed thunder dragon with only one thunder dragon. Keep that in mind. Couple more cards. We have that relinquish. That's a third relinquish. This is really cool. Foot of summoning dragon. Another beautiful SDK card. Then we have a cool like misprint card. It's not one of the great ones where it doesn't have the imprint on the on the name. It does have an imprint, so it's not like super valuable. But shield and sword, and it seems like he got this back in the day because you know it just fits with everything else he's had. Not great condition though. And then our last card is the card of destruction. So I guess all the first sets were in that first one. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know down below. Was it worth 400 bucks? Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moose Jr. Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.